We've come here to Stage Lighting Services in Cardiff to demonstrate our Plaza Innovation Award winning RigSync. We all use smartphones to access the internet and to do that they must have a unique IP address. The vast majority of us don't know or care what the IP address is as long as it works. Usually these unique addresses are given to our phones by something called a DHCP server. By replicating that functionality in our Flex console, we can remove the need to set up your lighting rig and make it just work. I have a range of equipment behind me that is all set to DMX address 1. And I've got a brand new Flex S console here. As soon as I plug the DMX line in, RigSync is going to start detecting what's out there, automatically addressing it all and patching it. And there it's done. So I've got control of my dimmers down here. I've got control of my LED units and I've got control of my moving lights as well. RigSync, more importantly, is managing my whole rig. So I've got control of this moving light. If I go and change the DMX address of it to 100, instantly RigSync detects that there's been a change, repatches the console, and so I've still got control of that moving light. If I go and change the DMX address of this so it clashes with my beta pack here, RigSync instantly says you can't be DMX address 7 and has moved it to DMX address 18 where there are no collisions and it's repatched the console so I've still got full control of that device. This is currently in a small 26 channel DMX mode, mode 2, and I'm going to move it to mode 10 which takes up over 100 DMX addresses. Instantly RigSync has repatched the console. I've done a fixture swap out, so all my programming beforehand continues to work. And it's changed the DMX address to find a slot where that will fit. So I've still got full control of my light, just like I did before. RigSync also includes a feature called Lock Rig. I can just go to Setup, Inputs and Outputs, and enable it here. And now if I go and try and change the address of this light from 7 to something else, Instantly, RigSync will just go and put it back to DMX address 7. In the same way, if I go and try and change the profile of this light from 10 to, let's say, mode 6, instantly, RigSync puts it back to 10. In fact, anything that's going to affect your show, such as pan tilt settings, mode, DMX address, will all automatically get changed back. This is all using something called RDM. It's a way that the console and all the devices can talk to each other. But not everything supports RDM. So for example, our Alpha Pack 3 unit that we've got here doesn't support RDM. So if I go and patch that in the normal way, just go to Add Fixtures, select a dimmer, say it's got three channels, I'm going to go and give it the DMX address that is the same as my moving light here. So DMX address 91. Now normally on most consoles at this point, you would get a pop-up saying that you can't use that DMX address because it's already in use. But RigSync can sort that out. It can't change this address because that doesn't support RDM. So when I click finish, it instantly changes the address of my moving light to move it out the way. And again, repatches my console so I've still got control of that light. We think RigSync's really going to help small to medium sized venues that don't have the luxury of a full time technician to manage their rig or to update all their paperwork. But most importantly, we think RigSync's going to save you time to enable you to create really great lighting designs.